welcome, welcome, welcome to Amber Skies. Yes, and uh, this one uh, comes especially from the new computer, the the, uh, the new thingy. Isn't it nice? Uh, how to get out of this? I don't know. Um, I don't know how to use Windows, by the way. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, just close it, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Right, the new computer. Um, freshly, fresh installs of everything, so there's nothing on here. Um, and we are going to be doing 3D Model Factory. Hmm, lovely. So, we're going to be using Visual Studio, and, well, QT, as uh, I'm allowed to now, because we're not doing this for sales. Um, as you can see, it's a bit blank. Um, yeah, it's a bit wide as well. It's better. Um, so, yeah, all I've done is I've downloaded the QT VS tools, and uh, we're just going to get on with it. So here we are. Hmm. Uh, what do I do? New project. Oh, create new project. There we go. Uh, QT console application. That's all do nicely. Let's call it. Um, I'm just going to call it 3D model. That'll do. I can't put anything on the C drive. So we're going to have to go to a VPC D drive, which is where everything's going to go. This is going to be a repo. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, create directory for solution. Yes, 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 yes. Create new Git repository. No, not at this point. I don't even know if I've got Git on this machine. Probably have, probably haven't. So, okay, let's see what we get next. Uh, don't want 3D. Core, yes. No, I don't want the GUI library. Uh, location, no. Network, no. OpenGL. Yeah, go on, I'll take OpenGL. Nothing there. Oh, this is looking good, isn't it? It's going to be a nothing one. Hmm. No, I'm not doing widgets or anything. This is a, just a 3D model. I'm just wondering whether I should um, pop a widget up just for a display. No, because then it becomes a full program, doesn't it? No, this is just designing a 3D model um, thingy. So, yeah, I'll just take the, those two, I think. I can always add stuff later. I mean, that's the beauty of uh, this. Uh, didn't ask for a properties window. Don't really want one. Thank you. So here it is, um, debug time 64, go. Wow, isn't that good, hey? That is so good. And it's in full window mode. Fantastic, which doesn't go back to Visual Studio. That's even better. Oh, I am loving this already. Windows, you are fantastic. And useless. So, uh, what do we really have? Hmm. Interesting. We have main, resources, external dependencies and references. Oh, it's got better than it, hasn't it? Generated files, resources. Well, I don't know where you've just put that... Uh, thingy. Ah, you put it in here, have you? Ah, yes, that's okay. Uh, I could leave it like that. Yeah. Don't know where it is like. 
But yeah. Ah, right. Uh, up one directory across the platform and down. Oh, God. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. And that's it. This series is going to start from here. Um, we are going to load up and have fun making a, well, it's going to be a 3D model factory, really. It's just going to be an absolute ginormous warehouse full of 3D models, which your program can then choose to display what it wants to display. And uh, those models can be added anywhere in your scenes at any time. Um, I think that puts it all in a nutshell. So I think we'll go from here. This is Microsoft Visual Studio, as you can see. Uh, I haven't set anything up. I haven't done anything special. That's it. Microsoft loaded up. Qt was loaded up, obviously. Um, and load a Qt program. Do I get help with this? No, I'll get the designer and the linguist. Great. Open, import, export, create. No, okay, so if I go to QCore application, press F1. Okay. That's not what I actually asked for. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. We'll have to get a help screen. Oh, I've got one. I can get one anyway, can't I? Oh, that's not going to be too bad. So, I will catch you in episode one, where we start working out uh, the fundamentals. The fundamentals of the .obj file format, the Wavefront. That's who made it, Wavefront, and it's a .obj um, Blender will export them. I don't even have Blender on this machine yet, so I'll go and download that in case I need it. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the other side. So in the meantime, it's just take care and have fun.